Stop it. Yeah. Press it. What the heck? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Retro Stash Repairs. So, I'm pretty sure all of y'all have heard about the game Bop It. And I recently got one on eBay. So, I picked it up for parts. And today, I'm going to try to see if I can fix it. That design. And this one's actually... The original 1996 one that came out back then as you can see the battery cover has a little bit of discoloration compared to this part right here and the listing actually said for parts not working that's basically it no details on it they actually sent me an offer for one dollar so i was like hey why not the shipping was kind of expensive, but it was still the cheapest out there. So I'm going to see what's wrong with this. I'm going to go ahead and put some batteries in and check it out. Looks like that was already open. See if it does anything. Okay, so something yeah, at least turns on, but there's something obviously wrong with it. Yeah, it's supposed to make sound when you twist this. And then, if you don't hit it, it screams. Twist it. Pass it. What? Twist it. Pass it. Yeah, something's pretty wrong with this. It's, just, it's supposed to scream when you don't hit it. Yeah, and it's not screaming, so. All right, well, I'll go ahead and open it up and check out, see if there's any damage in there. Or if, if this is repairable, but I won't get anywhere until I open it up and see. So I can see this uh, Philip has Philip head screws. So this isn't long enough, that's not gonna work. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be too thick. Oh yeah. So, I actually had a Phillips head of one of these, but I can't find it, so hopefully this fits in it. Oh, and it does, so. I think this will work. Alright, so now that I have it opened all up, I don't really see any possible damage it could have, or any water damage, but I'm going to go ahead and take my multimeter and check all the buttons, see if they're working properly.
grab my multimeter. And go ahead and start checking the buttons. working but it does sound a little raspy so I'm not sure if it's working like it should and I'm just not realizing to get to the other ones I'm just gonna have to take this completely apart because if it is the the switches, I could probably replace them with new tactile switches. might just try to replay, replace the tactile switches because I'm not sure they're doing all that great. Go ahead and connect the batteries again. Or actually first I'm gonna give it a, clean it up a bit, connect batteries and see what it, what it's doing. All right, so now that I somewhat cleaned it up, I'm gonna go ahead and put the batteries back in and see what it does this time. See if it still does the same thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be working once you press the bop it. This one's not working either. It's at least supposed to make the sound. What the heck? So it made the twist sound, but it did the pull sound first. It's not even making the sound right there. And then, and then what's supposed to happen, you press it, and then you don't do anything and it's supposed to scream. It's not even doing that, it's not screaming. It's not even making the boom sound it usually makes when you bop it. 
And I'm pretty sure it's not making the pull sound at all either. Or it's not saying pull it. It already made the pulling sound, but it's not saying pull it. What? There, did it again. It did the pulling sound and the twist. But then when I press it, it doesn't even make the twist sound. See, it's supposed to be making it right there. What? This is all sort of whack. Literally made the pull sound when I press pop it. Wow, so yeah, this is all sorts of out of whack. It's like I press a twist and it does a pull sound, and it's not even saying pull it. It's it's never saying pull it, and it's not doing the boom sound either. Pop it. Cut it. Pop it. <laughs> what? That time it didn't do the twist sound at all, it just did the pull on the twist. So it's like backwards and a lot of malfunction going on, so. What I'm thinking is these might be defective or something, which I'm pretty sure this is where the, the brains is at. There's really no damage or anything on the other side. So I'm pretty sure it's, it's just defective. Maybe it got dropped really hard, I'm not sure, but I was thinking maybe trying to replace components on there and on that on this like the capacitors or I mean I'm not sure what else I could try the buttons the buttons are responding it's just all out of whack so it has to be something else not the buttons and instead of just replacing things um, I think probably the best thing, maybe not for an official repair, but at least to find out what was wrong with it is maybe getting another bop it later on and maybe a really cheap one that was broken in half or something in the plastic and the internal components are still okay. And then start swapping parts out, starting with these two right here and seeing what the problem is. because. I'm really curious now to see what's causing that. So maybe this can be like a part one. Unfortunately, I can't fix it right now how how it is and what I have, because I don't even have capacitors. It feels to be that problem or something, much less these components right here, which I'm pretty sure it's where it's getting all the information from. So I'm pretty sure that's where the fault is. So, but either way, I'll keep my my eye out for for one for parts and maybe I can get back to this project in the future and find out what's going on with it because that that that's pretty crazy it's like doing the opposite it's leaving out the boom and the pull it's leaving the boom sound out and the words pull out it never says it at all and and it's not working like it's supposed to so that I guess that pretty much does it for this. Hopefully I can look back at this again and I'm able to see what was wrong with it in the future. But one I was able to fix, unlike this one, was the original Simon Says game, which is pretty similar to this one, but even older, more retro. If y'all guys haven't seen that, make sure to check it out on my channel. If y'all like this kind of content and continue wanting to watch this kind of stuff, just make sure to like comment subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell button and again thank you all for watching